okay now I'm still on key mode one of two and I disconnected VVDI to connector and I will continue to learn only this key so I'll go to Skoda I failed with both of them Diag okay so I'm still having here one of two then put the key this way then add key yes load emo data emo open we'll leave only one key then next keyless yes yes you see that move it a little bit okay Wait, I also have a problem. Hello, now I managed to learn only one key. And here I have all keys successfully learned. While the ignition switch is off, you can continue to learn only one key. And now I will turn the ignition off and try to start the car and the car started. I will see why both of them failed uh, but I think they are prepared wrongly we'll do it once again so now I'm having the car running with these three keys and I will prepare one for Skoda Superb Remote okay now I tried Superb Remote and also I failed to learn as you see here so now I will disconnect maybe the eye okay close everything switch ignition off and hold this key there turn the hazard on hold the key here I will show you how to learn again okay add key yes load emo here is emo only one next keyless before that push yes okay <clears throat> Yes. Detected dealer key. But the ignition switch is not on. Okay, you read that. Key learned anyway. No. Hold it. Okay.
Okay. Wait for that till it finish. But uh, the first time I did it this way. Give it once. Hold the key. Then click on OK. Okay, move the key a little bit. <clears throat> Give it once. Okay. Now the ignition came back on. You have to move the key for like this, this, this. Okay, now I will turn the ignition off. Okay, and start the car. Now I don't know what's going wrong. Maybe I have to disassemble this cover and the switch itself and get the coil out and insert the key inside it. I will have a look if I have time to do this job or not. Okay, now using VPDI mini key tool, I prepared this one for older version and this one for newer version as on the beginning of the video. And now it's assembled uh, the start stop and here is the antenna coil. Okay, and now if I press the start stop button the car start because the original key is still inside the vehicle so now I will prepare both of them as dealer key then try to learn back again okay you see that and here I have two of two the older version key this one is prepared for the newer and this one is prepared for the older okay and here I have two of two so now I will turn the ignition off and here I have all keys successfully learned Sorry for the quality, but it's very hard to control the um, the antenna and the switch and also the laptop. Okay, I will take that away and try the remote on the first key. And as you see, Everything is working right now. Okay, now I will take this key out of the car and test uh, the starting only with this one. I'll leave it there. And Uh, the LED should blink see that so the car started with this key okay that's it okay now after assembling the start stop button here I have the two remotes hear that look unlock look unlock and if I try to start press break and start both of them worked 
okay now that's it and also notice here the proximity functions it locked if I move my hand there it unlocked with the new key also the remote now everything is okay